get Lalova. Also today, the 200 meter, you just won again. The second to win in the in this weekend. Uh, how was this race? Well, it, it was bad. <laughs> it was tough because of the wind, but we know the conditions here. Every year is the same. I didn't expect to run with some good wind, but uh, let's say I did my job here. I had to secure victory in the one, in the two. I even helped to win the four by one. So I think I done my job in the best possible way. Looking at your country, Bulgaria, how is the level of sprinting in your country? Well, it's, it's improving a little bit and uh, I'm trying to help in this way. I made my own club, like a, like a sprint academy that is working mostly with kids for now, but we are open for all kinds of athletes and uh, even athletes from different sports, even everybody, everybody. And it's something I I want to leave um, in my country. So you want to help the sport to get more people, get to know with athletics? Yeah, I want to help the sport, because nowadays the sport in my country is uh, less and less popular. And this is not good, so I'm trying to leave something behind me and to, to help some kids to really understand what is a sport. and. Uh, that is something amazing because you know our life has been here and uh, they shouldn't miss that. What's the first lesson you teach them? Oh, the first lesson is uh, to be professionalist, to come at training, to be you know completely sure about it but they're still kids for them it's enough to see me and ooh, they go crazy and uh, it's still a game it's still a really nice thing for them when they come for training where can I be there? What's the name of the, the academy? It's Koivet Lalova Sprint Academy. We could think about that one. Eh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and how many kids do you have now in your academy? Are there around 40 or 50? Yeah, depends on the days. And uh, if you consider that Sofia is a place that we don't have many athletic venues, especially in the indoors. And it's a really good thing. I'm happy about it. I hope it can survive through the tough times. And I, I hope we can attract more, more kids in general in the sport, in, uh, on the stadium. Because this is health, you know, its future is, uh, is the best thing you can do. Good luck with, uh, well, the first with the rest of your season and, and your academy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. Okay.